Welcome back. The recent rise in the mercury is probably welcome for most people in the border city. However, the warm weather does come with a potential downside. Lloydminster residents are being encouraged to take precautions when it comes to preparing for the spring thaw. A sudden melt could present a few problems if preventative measures aren't taken beforehand. Watch out for potholes that inevitably occur at this time of season every year, as well as uh, potential basement seepage issues. And uh, the retention lakes can, the ice can become um, unsuitable to walk on at this time of year. With well above average precipitation this winter, basement flooding could be more of a problem than it has been in the recent past. In terms of the basement seepage, uh, people should have a look at their lot. If they know they've had history of problems, they should clear the snow away from their foundations. The city is addressing the pothole issue the same way that it deals with snow removal. The higher priority roadways get uh, dealt with first, and we try to attack those potholes um, uh, first, and then we move into more of the locals and collectors. Residents who need more information to contact the Public Works Office. Lakeland College is going into the final phase of its child development center, building an outdoor playground. The goal is to accommodate children of all abilities and it will be the first of its kind in Lloydminster. Kathy Lee explains what having an all-inclusive playground will mean for one family in the border city. Stacy Andrews' eight-year-old son Tylan has cerebral palsy but still lives a normal life. Tylan goes to regular school. He's included in a regular classroom. Um, he goes to gymnastics after school, and he's part of the Beavers program through the Scouts program. Some Lloydminster playgrounds have apparatuses for children with disabilities, but Andrew feels there are some limitations. They're narrower to walk on. Um, they're built on sand pits, so somebody in a chair or that's using a mobility device, a walker or something, would have really limited access in a sand pit. The new playground, planned to be located close to Bud Miller Park and the Vic Juba, is accessible for children with all abilities. They'll have activities at uh, wheelchair height, uh, sandboxes, uh, be able to wheel their chairs right under and continue and be an active uh, participant of, of the playground. We really want it to be utilized by the community, by the centre, and, and especially for children that might not have the opportunity to play alongside other kids. The college will commit $50,000, but after expenses such as the cement paths and special underground for wheelchairs, the cost is still heavy. We think it's well worth the cost uh, of, of the $200,000, so we're going to be going out to the community and service clubs and, and saying, you know, can you help us? Andrew is supportive of the project as it'll be another option for her son Thailand to get involved in his community. He is mobile, but you know, he does require a certain level of support to maximize his mobility. So to have a park built that he can access and be as independent as possible and engage and play with other friends there is very important. The goal is to have the playground open in September, which means construction needs to start this summer. Right now, the focus is reaching out to the community and raising enough funds in order to make the project happen. Kathy Lee, Newcap News. Lakeland College's Vermilion campus was welcoming prospective students this afternoon for their annual Ag Sighted event. They learned about the Agricultural Sciences program, toured the campus, and got a feel for what college life would be like. Jenna Bridges has more. The Agricultural Sciences program at Lakeland College is in high demand. With approximately 95% of graduates obtaining jobs in agribusiness, it draws students from all over. I'm really getting a feel of the place and the campus and the people here, so it's great. I'm from a city background, so it's good to learn how to do all sorts of stuff like this. Like all programs at the college, it features hands-on learning, and one major draw seems to be the student-managed farm located right on campus. It gets you in the field and real-life scenario, like, if this is going to go wrong, it's going to go wrong here. Sheep production is just one of the courses it featured at Egg Sighting at the Vermilion campus of Lakeland College. With the college nearing its 100th anniversary, agricultural sciences continues to be as popular as ever. We're really proud here at Lakeland to say that our enrollments have probably gone up by about 30-35% in the last three years in agriculture programs. Van Lent says the industry is garnering more interest and thinks a possible food crisis could be a contributing factor to the recent influx in numbers. 
We're seeing a shift in terms of ag, the ag industry and uh, potential, frankly, globally for, for us to uh, produce and sell more of our commodities. And that, in the end, means that we end up getting more students to provide the service and farm. The Agricultural Sciences program promises to teach students all aspects that encompass the industry. It's not just about learning production skills, it's also learning about soft skills like teamwork, decision making, critical thinking. Um, how does an agricultural business run, because that's really what all of these enterprises are, is many agriculture businesses. In Vermillion, Jenna Bridges, New Cap News. Well, it's not every day that someone gets to meet a celebrity musician, but this morning at the Glen Avon School in St. Paul, students got to do just that. Mitch Dorga, drummer for the Crash Test Dummies, spoke to students in grades 7 to 9. His main message was a fairly simple one, follow your dreams. I've lived my dream. Right, I, I mean, and, and I'm still living it. Like that's that's the that's the real irony there is I'm still living it, and I'm I'm trying to open up a path or open up a door for other kids to do that. Part of opening that door is creating awareness about drugs and alcohol and the consequences of people's choices. But Mitch believes reaching the key to reaching the young students is being truthful. I'm just I'm honest with the kids. I'm not trying to snow them, I'm not trying to scare them, I'm not trying to lie to them. I'm just, I'm just honest, I'm myself, I'm not trying to be something, right? And, uh, and I think that just connects with the kids. The talented drummer spoke for two hours before showing the kids some of his skills. Well, the production crew of a major Hollywood movie being shot in Provost, Alberta, are looking for some additional extras. Titled Barlow Man, the film is written, produced, directed by and starring Corbin Burnson. It's about one young boy's journey to find his own fate. The movie has been shooting for the past two weeks and extras are needed for a few different crowd scenes. Anyone interested and available to be in Provost Monday afternoon, March 21st, can send their contact information to barlowman at gmail.com or call 780-753-6667. Artistry on ice and on stage this weekend in our area. Lloyd FM's Heather Cleggis has all the details on this week's What's Happening. You've got a chance to see some local dancers strut their stuff this weekend. You might see some ballet, maybe some jazz, maybe a little bit of tap as Fame Dance Studio presents their festival showcase this weekend. You can see the dancers on stage at the Vic Juba Community Theatre Sunday at 1.30. Battle of the Blades comes to Lashburn. Well, sort of. The Lashburn Skating Carnival is on this weekend on Sunday afternoon, and as part of it, the Good Sports Challenge. Some hockey players will team up with some figure skaters, and you've got a chance to vote on who the winner is. A dollar a vote, and there will be some celebrity judges, including Lloyd FM's own Kurt Price. Things get underway 2 o'clock on Sunday afternoon. Toby Keith has a brand new DVD out. It's got 10 of his music videos on it, including Should Have Been a Cowboy, How Do You Like Me Now, and his latest, Bullets in the Gun. You can win a copy. All you have to do is email your name and daytime phone number to TV Contest at newcap.ca. And we want to say thanks to John at Universal Music Canada for hooking us up with the new Toby Keith. And something for the kids this weekend, a Saturday night in Vermilion at Lakeland College. It's Kids Theatre featuring the Princess and the Pea. Things get underway at 8 o'clock. Well, whatever you choose to do this weekend, I hope you have a great one. I'm Heather Cleggis, and that's what's happening.